eyes. Uh, today I will be explaining you about uh, about how to work on R. You can begin here for learning more about uh, data analysis or maybe for machine learning in R. But this is just the basics about just the beginning of how to use R. I hope that you have installed R in R Studio. If not, please go ahead and do that and come back. Yeah, so let's begin. You can see that uh, there is an option of file option here. You just go there and create new file an R script that that will create a new script here Jeff. then what you have to do is you can see that there are four windows here one is on the left hand side two are on left side and two are right side so this one this is which is written global environment here you will see all the things which you do uh, that will be stored here and you can check out what variables you have created till now and this is the console on the left corner where you can see that what you have done and uh, and here on the right hand side these are op other options for file plots packages help and viewer so let's first go on how to start with R. Let's go for the basic syntax first. first. You have to write like X and then this syntax like this and you can write hello. And then what you need to do is then control enter on this and this will get like this. So you can see on the right hand side there is a value x which shows that it has contains hello and in the console also you can see that you have uh, you have done uh, you have entered this thing <coughs> now if you want to see that what is stored in x then you can check it out like this go to x type x and then control x control enter like this and control enter no now you can go to now you can write like why I love machine learning just control enter and then check it value of why you can see on the right hand side it says that I love machine learning here also on the console side you can see that it is saying I love machine learning <coughs> now R has different objects or you can say data types it's uh, vectors, list, matrices, arrays, factors, data frames let's go one by one let's begin with vectors right v1 is equal to c c is this uh, used this is the syntax you, uh, you have to write like this c and then like this 1 2 10 20 control enter you can see that it is containing numeric values on the right hand side 1 to 4 1 2 10 20 same you can see that you have control enter and you have seen in the console if you want to see the what's the values stored on v1 then go to v1 cursor at v1 and then just to control enter you can see on the console it is typing 1 2 10 20 it is printing this thing now if you want to see what is the class type of this v1 which is a numeric class type what you need to do is you can write class v1 and then again control enter <coughs> um, you can see that there it is it has printed numeric type so it has numeric type class now you write v2 is equal to c alpha beta gamma you can see here on the right side the values are stored as character type and it has three values alpha beta and gamma in the console also you can see that you have entered this thing 
Now if you want to see what value is stored in V2, you can just go to V, uh, you write V2 and then again control enter. If you want to see the class of V2, then you can again write class V2, enter, control enter, you can see that it is written character type. Like this way, so this is very easy, R is very easy, you can see it here. Now if you want to write a shortcut uh, of writing, say if you want to write from 1 to 20 then you can write v3 is equal to c1 to 20 so this is colon 1 to 20 like this you can see that v3 is here again 1 to 20 and it, it has integer type all are integers 1 to 20 and if you want to see what is stored in v3 then again you can do like this so that's easy Let's go to matrices now. <coughs> Sorry. Now you can write in M1 is equal to matrix. Uh, you take this vector C 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 20. So this is one vector, but you want to convert it into matrix. So you will use this fun uh, function matrix. Inside that, you will put this vector C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 20, then comma, comma, and then you have to write n row is equal to 2. Suppose you want to see that uh, you don't want to type, just then I am deleting it, and then put comma, and then do the tab here, press the tab button, you will see that it has all the options. So what you need to do is you have to go to n row is equal to 2. Now m1 is stored as a data type and it has numeric matrices 1 to 2, 1 to 4. You can see that what is stored in m1 in the console. It is typed like this. <coughs> You can see that the uh, rows uh, in the row it is written 1, 3, 5, 10 and 2, 4, 6, 20. You have given all these values in a vector in M1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 20. Now again you can write in M2 is equal to matrix C1, 2, 3, 4 like this. Then again you can do same thing comma tab button and call is equal to 2. Control enter you can check it out the value of m2 in the console <coughs> so n call tells about the number of columns and n row tells about the number of rows you can see that in m2 there are number of column is 2 number of rows are 4 so 4 times 2 that is 8 values are there you can see that in the vector we have put 8 values then you can write in the matrix m3 like this this is character data type all this, these are character values comma and call is equal to 3 and you can check the m3 <coughs> you can see here that the number of columns are 3 and the number of rows is also 3 so 9 values are there which you have given here now let's go to list list uh, list we can contain different types of uh, data types like uh, vectors or functions or matrices like let's write first l1 is equal to list a is equal to c145 comma b is equal to apple let's just write and check the output l1 what you see here is it is showing that l1 has two elements in it first element is a which is having the numeric vector 1 4 5 and the second is b which is containing a character value apple so this is having a list list can have different data types in it you can write again second l2 is equal to list c 1 4 5 b like this b is matrix type and a is vector type you can see different types are there a and b are different types one is vector and one is matrix 
the way of writing matrix we have already seen the matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 number of rows is 2 l2 l2 you can see here the value of a is 1 4 5 and the value of b is a matrix this can be seen here <coughs> so that is uh, very easy you can see that you can put any number of data types and any number of values you want to put it in the list you can just uh, try it with different types later <coughs> let's go to array uh, so it is uh, you can consider an array it is similar to 2d matrices but you can consider it as having 2d matrices stacked on top of each other <coughs> like a1 is equal to array c1 to 40 dim dimensions 2 5 4 this is like dimensions in you can say x y and z 2 5 4 three dimensions in 2d matrices we have only two dimension number of rows and number of columns but here so you can consider as 2 as number of rows 5 as number of columns and 4 as number of layers means in each in each of the four layer you have 2d matrix you can control enter and you can check it the value of a1 you see that in the console that the value of a1 have uh, one two three four four layers and each of the layer first layer has 2d matrix second layer also has 2d matrix three third also has 2d matrix and fourth also has 2d matrix so all are stacked on top of each other this comma comma means number of rows and number of columns which is 2 and 5 you can see in each of them 2 rows and 5 columns 2 rows and 5 columns so these are arrays so let's go to factors write v1 is equal to c apple mango and like this you can see that there are repeated values like apple apple mango mango orange orange so these are repeated values in a vector just do like this now we want to check that what is v1 what you can do is like v1 control enter the value you can see all are stored here in the console now write f1 is equal to factor of v1 now you see f1 it is showing the same output apple mango orange apple mango apple orange but the levels it is showing is apple mango orange that is telling about that these are the values which are repeated ones so it is only telling the unique values in the vector so factor contains the levels which the vector contains like the unique values in it if you want to know the unique values in a vector you just type in n levels of f1 so that means n levels of factor f1 is a factor you can see that there are three fact uh, three levels apple mango and orange these are three unique values in this vector. now let's go to data frames so data frames you have consider uh, three variables class c character type students numeric type and average weight numeric type and you want to put all of these in rows and columns like you can write df1 data frame data dot frame you can always use the tab button if you want to write like df1 is equal to data dot and then you can do tab button but it is going to class you want to go to frame you can just do like this and then write the same thing as I have written here so data dot frame class students average weight control enter and now you can see the output of df1 so class students average weight all these values are written here f s t 100 280 average weight 30 40 and 50 so this is a data frame which is having the vectors in the columns 
vector values in the columns so you can see the class vector student vector average weight vector all are in written in columns this is a data frame and in machine learning we usually get a csv file which is which you can then read in r as a data frame and then you can do the machine learning in it so this is just the basics you i will be uploading more videos on the basics and then i will upload more videos on machine learning how to start with machine learning how to read the csv file and uh, or other files and you can start doing your analysis and uh, regression and other kinds of machine learning models like decision tree random forest and all those <coughs> but these are the simple videos on r which i have which i think that it is very useful for any beginner which is looking for uh, just to get started with r so thank you for video watching my video and please uh, do like and do subscribe to this channel so that uh, if i uh, make any new video you will be getting an email on that thank you